Afternoon, evening to you. This is a video specifically for Bill at Guitar Struggles, who's been struggling with uh, trying to get uh, Cakewalk Sonar, 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 Sonar to do anything, anything by the sounds of it. Um, I just had a quick look. This may completely screw up, and apologies for the handheld uh, camera work because uh, I haven't got a tripod and everything falls to bits. So we'll see what happens and we'll see what we get. Okay, so let's turn you around here and see what I can see. Okay, so I'm just going to start off Cakewalk, which is here somewhere, and it's going to tell me all sorts of shit that I don't need to know. Oh god, it's scanning on my VSTs again. It's doing that. So apologies for the wobbly camera work. Here we go. Now it's going to tell me that I haven't got any MIDI channels out. Oh, no, it's not. It's just going to do it. Oh, here we go. Do you want Sonar's help guide? Well, someone bloody does. Okay. Choose MIDI output. Um, continue with no MIDI output. You may not hear any MIDI tracks play, but oh, for fuck's sake. Um, I don't think I need that, though. I don't, I'm, sure that, I'm sure I don't do that in other things. So open a project. Create a new project. And we'll call it... Um, can you see that? I'll call it Bill 2. Bill 2, because I just did one. Okay, and it's just going to ask me. I'm just going to go on normal here. Can you see that? Normal, whatever normal means. Um, they're different different templates. So we'll open that up and see what we got. Okay. Is that getting anything? Oh, sorry. Well, my camera work is appalling. I'll, I'll sort it. Oh, bloody Nora. Where's the fucking screen gone? Here we go. There it is. Okay. So I'll just expand that up there. There, ping. Okay, so we've got one audio track. What we need to do is we need to get something in there. We need to get our backing track in there. So we go up to the left, to the top where it says file. Can you see this? I don't even, I can't, I'm, I'm behind the bloody camera. I should have done it in HD, shouldn't I? Go to file at the top left, top menu, and import there. And you'll see import audio. All right, so I'm assuming this is what you've done already to get your backing track in there. So we'll import some audio, and I'm just going to import this one which has come up, not a backer finito. It's not something I can jam to, it's just an old track that I used this to clean up. So I'm going to click on that, go OK and open, and it should, and it takes its bleeding time as well. See down here it's working away, and we're going to get that audio data in there. Somewhere. My apologies, my camera work is absolute shite today, isn't it? So that's taking its time, so we'll just whistle a tune. Why does this take so long? You do this on Reaper, it's absolutely bang instant, you know? Another good thing about Reaper, you have a, a menu up there that says uh, Media View, and then it lists every single thing on your computer, and you just pick one and dump it in there, and it, and it ends up sorting its own track out and everything. This is one of the other things I hated about this. You have to define whether it's an audio or a MIDI track, and if you have a MIDI track, then it bungs loads of other tracks in it, and it's just overly complicated. And Reaper just is not. You'll probably hear me say that quite a bit. So there we go. There's our not a backer track. And it's got all there with its lovely waveforms and that. And as I say, what that was, that was just, um, I did a video ages ago. Um, and this was just the audio for it. And it was dirty. So I just put it in here and cleaned it up. So there you go. I'll just turn it down a little bit. Okay, so that's what we've got. That's the track we're playing. And we want to jam over that, okay? So we've got an audio track there. If you haven't, Got an audio track there. I think you go down here, you right click, insert audio track. Yep, can you see that? So I've just, I'll do that again. I've just click, clicked on this big grey expanse that's here somewhere. Right click, insert audio. I've just done that. Insert audio track. And that'll insert a track here. Yeah, an extra track here. But we've already got one. So we'll use this one. All right. What I need to do is I need to set it up to record. So I hit R, record. And I hit this little thing here with a little, where are we? Bloody hell, I apologise. Hit record, record button, oh shit, record button in red. And then this one, which I've just lit up as well. All right, that's telling me that it's looking for an audio in. Actually, I... where the hell does that, oh, there we go. And it's telling me down there, right at the bottom here, okay, audio two. And that's my input, okay, because on my little blue box of tricks down here, God, I apologise, the camera work is shite today. Um, I've got two inputs, and Audio 2 is the one I use for guitar. Okay, so that's what you want to see. They're the buttons you want to click. On track two, your red record button, and this little wobbly one next to it with a, with a little sound waves coming out, so that's lit up, okay? That should, hopefully, if I hit record now, 
let's just test that. I'll just, I'm just going to put an effect in it. So I'm just going to put add an effect, which again we go down here somewhere on the left. Where it's telling me about the track I've, I've got set up here, and I can right click on that and insert an effect, audio effects, and we'll just have the one that I just used just now, a bunch of VSTs for, and we'll use the um, guitar crunch preamp just to give a bit of volume on things. Okay, so there's me effects. I'll crank the gain up. All right. So that's me effect there, and that's on this track here, track two, I believe, because it's telling me. Is it? It's probably not actually, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I did click audio too. Bugger me, this is confusing. Um, yeah, so now that that should hopefully, if I play my guitar, lovely in tune and everything, I can hear that. And so if I now hit the record button at the top here, yeah, record button. I'll just go back to the beginning, hit the record button, and I should be able to jam along happily and record it. So let's just do that for a sec. Sorry, I'm going to prop you up there. Sorry. My apologies. My humble apologies. Here we go. Let's just prop that up there, and I'll just jam on the guitar. Um, I'm not, I don't give a shit what I'm playing. Not even bothering to tune it. Okay, hit the record button, and there's the backing track going. So back in track and me. And it's come up with a really crappy little bit. It's just shit this program. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. That's done. That's recorded that. So now if I un if I now unpress unpress D click D flower. Can I deflower it? Where is it? There. Undo the record. Undo the listen back to. Go back here somewhere. Play it back. I should have seven shades of shit. And seems to have done it. Okay. Um, again, if you're having problems with drivers, audio drivers and all that sort of shit, regardless of what sort of uh, sound card you've got, if it comes with its own driver, fantastic, try using that. If not, uh, go for ASIO for all, A-S-I-O, number four, A-L-L, -L, download that driver, dump it in there as your new driver, point at it, and, and that, that seems to work with everything. Okay, I hope that's helped. I hope that's got you somewhere. Um, I hope I never have to look at this software again for another five years, because just that is just... Reminded me how bloody awful and how overly complicated and shite it is. Reaper all the way. Take it easy. Catch you soon, mate.